In the quiet suburb of Enfield, North London, a series of events unfolded in the late 1970s that would challenge the boundaries of belief and skepticism. It was within the walls of a seemingly ordinary council house on Green Street where the Hodgson family found themselves at the epicenter of what would become one of the most compelling, controversial, and terrifying paranormal cases ever recorded. This is the story of the Enfield Poltergeist, an enigma that has fascinated and puzzled both experts and the public for decades. In this journey, we will delve into the heart of the supernatural disturbances that besieged the Hodgson household. From unexplained voices to objects moving with unseen forces, this narrative goes beyond mere ghostly tales, touching the very essence of the unknown. What happened in this humble infield home challenges our understanding of reality and invites us to explore a world where the paranormal becomes palpable. Join us as we unravel the layers of the infield poltergeist, a true story that remains as mystifying as it is haunting. In the latter half of the 1970s, in the seemingly ordinary borough of Enfield, North London, a series of events unfolded that would become one of the most hotly debated and intensely scrutinized paranormal cases in history. At the heart of this tale were the Hodgsons, a typical family whose life was turned upside down by the unexplainable. Peggy Hodgson, a hardworking single mother, lived in a modest council house on Green Street with her four children. Life for the Hodgsons was as normal as any other family in Enfield until August 1977, when peculiar incidents began to disrupt their everyday existence. It started subtly, with knocks and bumps in the night, easily dismissed as the house settling or the imagination of children. But the phenomena grew increasingly harder to ignore. Furniture moved on its own, toys were thrown by invisible hands, and heavy beds shook violently. Peggy, initially skeptical, could not deny the reality of the situation when she witnessed these events herself. Seeking help, Peggy called the police. A constable who responded reported seeing a chair slide across the floor unaided. But the police could do nothing. Their remit did not cover the supernatural. Word of the bizarre happening spread, attracting media attention. Journalists and curious onlookers flocked to the house, hungry for a story or a glimpse of the supernatural. Maurice Gross and Guy Lyon Playfair, from the Society for Psychical Research, were drawn to the case. They spent extensive time with the family, witnessing firsthand the strange occurrences. Over 2,000 incidents were recorded, including objects levitating, Janet speaking in a voice not her own, and her apparent levitations. As the story gained notoriety, skeptics and believers clashed. Some accused the family of perpetrating a hoax while others were convinced of the supernatural nature of the events. Neighbors, reporters, and even police officers who had experienced the phenomena stood divided in their opinions. The impact on the Hodgson family was profound. Sleepless nights, constant fear, and the relentless media scrutiny took their emotional and psychological toll. The children, particularly Janet, who seemed to be the focus of the activity, were deeply affected. One of the most chilling aspects of the case was Janet's apparent possession by the entity of Bill Wilkins, a man who had lived and died in the house years before. The deep, gruff voice that emanated from her spoke of death in the afterlife, shaking those who heard it.
Gross and Playfair faced challenges in their investigation, struggling to find a rational explanation for the events. Theories ranged from genuine paranormal activity to psychological phenomena, but no definitive conclusion could be reached. The events gradually subsided by 1979, and the Hodgson family attempted to return to normal life. But the infield poltergeist left a lasting legacy, continuing to intrigue and perplex. Books were written, documentaries made, and the story became part of paranormal lore. The infield poltergeist case remains a mystery, a narrative interwoven with fear, skepticism, and the unexplained. It challenges our understanding of the world and leaves us questioning the reality of our existence. In the quiet of Green Street, in the ordinary home of the Hodgsons, something extraordinary occurred, a reminder that sometimes, the most ordinary places can hold the most extraordinary secrets.